Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this candy corn style baby hat. It's for babies between three and six months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Now let's get started, but don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think of this little hat and if you like me to make the mommy and daddy version of this candy corn style hat. I'll gladly go ahead and do that for you all. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to knit a little candy corn style hat. I thought I showed you how I'm going to do this little hat for my best friend here. Now the color that I'm going to use here, this is going to be for the top. Um, this is the yarn, it's impeccable. It's a medium number four yarn. This here is in the color, let's see, Aaron. And then the middle part of that hat is going to be this color. This is in the color Fire Red. To me, it looked orange. Um, I didn't even read the name, so it's orange to me. Uh, and then the yellow here, it's called Petunia. The first thing that we need, let me move this away, is our little sample. I went ahead and did a little sample here. This is my gauge. I cast it on a total of 20 stitches and I knit a total of 20 rows using the stockinette stitch here to get an idea for the size that I'm aiming here. So uh, in a 20 by 20 uh, little square here, I have 8.25 centimeters and 10.5 centimeters i think i wrote the inches here it's 3.25 inches in 20 rows and four inches approximately in 20 uh, stitches so if you want to uh, do the same i just cast on 20 stitches and knit 20 rows and that's the measurement so let's get started here the needles that i'm going to use are going to be these shorties here these are four millimeters and I am going to knit the little hat in the round. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to cast on our stitches and I'm going to do it with this color here. This is the Petunia color. I love that name. So to cast on our stitches, I'm going to show you how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. If you have another method that you prefer, you can do it however way you want. So to do the long tail cast on, put both needles like this and we're going to wrap the yarn around 20 times. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So here we have enough for about 20 stitches. I need to cast on a total of 72 stitches. We're going to double it up. I have enough for 40. Double it up again, I have enough for 60. And double it up again, I have enough for 80 stitches. Now, here we're going to make a slip knot. Insert both needles here. Here's the yarn that I just measured. This here is coming from the skein. So to cast on our stitches, hold both needles, open the yarn, and we're going to go from left to right, grab a loop like this. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Continue until you have 72 stitches. Okay, I finished casting on my stitches. I have a total of 72 stitches here. Now, by the way, these stitches here are in multiples of eight. So if you want to make it uh, a little bit bigger, then go ahead and add more stitches in multiples of eight. But make sure that you do your uh, little gauge there. Now, what I'm going to do here, carefully remove one of the needles and we are going to start our first row. Here is the first stitch. This is the last stitch that I cast on. So the first stitch here is the first stitch that we cast on. So all you do is just knit the first stitch here and now we are joined in the round. Now the next stitch, purl. 
next stitch knit next stitch purl next stitch knit so we're going to knit one purl one knit one purl one this is going to be the brim of the little hat so this is how i'm going to work this part here i'm going to knit one purl one knit one purl one continue like this to the end of this row i'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished the first row. This is where I knit and purled. Make sure that your last stitch here is a purl, which is what I have. I'm going to place a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the row. Now, for a total of, I don't know, 12, 14 rows, continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. We're going to repeat the same thing we did in the first row. You're just going to knit the first stitch and purl the next knit and purl knit and purl like this that's all i'm going to do knit and purl when you finish this row you're just going to pass your stitch marker and then repeat the same thing knit purl knit purl continue watching like i said i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row Okay, I'm almost done with the brim. I have done a total of 15 rows. Now, this part here is measuring, let's see. It's about 6.5 centimeters, which is about, it's almost two and a half inches. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to join the new color. This is going to be the orange color here. Now, the brim is a bit long because it's going to fold like this. So, that's why it's, bit long this part here so I'm going to join the new color with the help of a crochet hook I'm going to go right here this is the beginning of the row so pass your stitch marker so right here right in the middle there's this little bar so pull the yarn here the new color bring it through and we're going to tie a knot here this is so that it's easier for us to start with the new color you can always undo that knot there and here you can cut the yellow yarn which I'm going to do here just cut and with this tail here I'm going to tie it now once this part here is done go back and look at this part here make sure that it looks nice so now I'm going to continue with the orange and do two rows of knit one purl one so all i do is knit purl knit purl so continue make two rows of knit one purl one with the new color and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making the last two rows here with a new color. I have a total of 17 rows, including the last two rows that I did with the new color. Now, what we're going to do for the next 20 rows is we're going to continue with a stockinette stitch. That means we're going to knit across. So every stitch is going to be knit, and we're going to do this for a total of 20 rows. Now this is going to be the body of the little hat, so that's why I'm going to do it in this bright orange color. So continue, finish this row, just knit every stitch until you finish, and then you're just going to continue in the round knitting every stitch, like I said, for a total of 20 rows. Continue, I'll meet you back once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished knitting 20 rows. So from here up to here, there's 20 rows, but remember we did two rows here of knit one purl one. So in total with this uh, bright orange color, I have 22 rows and it's measuring. From here up to here, it's measuring about 14.5 centimeters, which is about 5.75 inches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the next color. In my case, it's this off-white color so to do this same thing we did here we're going to go right here right in the middle between the last stitch and the first one so insert your hook there and grab 
this tail here and tie a knot. And we're going to tie this here as well because we're going to cut our orange yarn. So just tie it with the tail here. Now make sure to go back once this part here is done so that there is no gap just like I did here. So you could hardly see it. So now we can cut the orange color. So now our orange yarn has been cut and now I'm going to continue with the white. Here I'm going to make one row in white. So all we do is just knit all around. Then we're going to start to decrease and shape the crown of the hat. So I'm just going to knit one row. Continue, finish this row and I'll meet you back to show you how we're going to start to reduce. Okay, I finished this row with the new color. Now what I'm going to do here is we're going to place some stitch markers. So we're going to place our stitch marker every, uh, let's see, between the eighth and the ninth stitch. So two, four, six, eight. Now put a stitch marker between the eighth and the ninth. And then again, repeat the same thing. Two, four, six, eight. Place a stitch marker two, four, six, eight, place a stitch marker, two, four, six, eight, 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 stitch marker and two four six eight stitch marker here at the end i already have one two four six eight perfect so in total we have two four six eight nine stitch markers so this is what we're going to do this is going to be the first row reduction so what we're going to do is we're going to knit up to the last two stitches before the stitch marker. So knit, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I have seven and eight here. So two stitches before the stitch marker. Here we're going to knit two together. Pass your stitch marker and now you're going to repeat the same thing knit up to the last two stitches before the stitch marker one two three four five six again knit two together pass your stitch marker and repeat knit six and then knit two together pass your stitch marker and then repeat now one thing before we continue if you want to switch to i don't know maybe longer knitting needles and with the magic loop technique you can do this because now we're going to start to reduce to just here so it's going to get um, a bit harder to continue with these smaller knitting needles you can also use double pointed needles um, if you know how to use them i am going to continue with them up to uh, i don't know however much i can and then i'm going to switch to longer needles same size so that i can do or finish the reductions using the magic loop technique but continue watching i will show you all of that so continue finish this first row of reduction i'll meet you at the end i finished this first row of reduction and now at the end of this first row of reduction i have a total of 63 stitches we have reduced here this part by nine stitches so now what we're going to do is we're going to knit all of the stitches all around so we're going to alternate between a knit row and then a reduction row so in this second row reduction i'm not going to reduce all i'm going to do is just knit all around so continue for this second row just knit all around i'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I finished the second row. In the second row, I did not reduce anything. All I did was just knit all around and I have 63 stitches still. Now in this third row, I am going to reduce. So same thing we did in the first row. I'm going to knit up to the last two stitches before the stitch marker. So I have two, three, four, five. Two stitches before the stitch marker, we knit two together. Pass your stitch marker and then repeat the same thing for each section. Knit five, that's three, four, five, knit two together. And that's all I'm going to do. So continue for this third row. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of the third row. In this row, I reduced. So I have a total of 54 stitches at the end of this row. Now for the fourth row, all we're going to do is just knit all around like this. Now there should be six stitches in between each one of the sections now. So all you're going to do is just knit all around. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. Okay, I finished the fourth row. This is where we knit all around. Now for the fifth row, we're going to reduce. So knit four stitches, one, two, three, four, then knit two together. Pass your stitch marker. Again, knit four. One, two, three, four. Knit two together. Continue like this for this fifth row. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the fifth row reduction. At the end of this row, I have a total of 45 stitches. And there are five stitches in between each one of the sections. Now for the sixth row, all we're going to do is just knit all around. And at the end of this row, we're going to have 45 stitches as well. Continue, finish this sixth row. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished the sixth row where I knit all around. Now for the seventh row, we're going to reduce here. So we're going to knit three. That's one, two, three. Then we're going to knit two together. Again, pass your stitch marker and knit one, two, three. Two stitches before the stitch marker, knit two together. And this is all we're going to do for this seventh row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished the seventh row. In this row we reduced, so I have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this row. Now for the eighth row, all we're going to do is just knit all around. Now there are four stitches in between each section, so you just knit all around. One, two, three, four. Continue all around. I'll meet you at the end of this eighth row. Okay, I finished this eighth row. This is where we knit all around. Now for the ninth row, we are going to reduce. So here we have four stitches. We're going to knit two. One, two, then knit two together. Pass your stitch marker and then repeat the same thing. Knit two, knit two together. So for this ninth row, all you're going to do is just knit two and then knit two together. At the end of this ninth row, you're going to have 27 stitches left. And you're just going to continue in the same way. I've showed you a couple rows here, what you need to do. For row 10, you're going to knit all around and you're going to have 27 stitches at the end of that row. For row 11, you're going to knit one, then knit two together. And at the end of that 11th row, you're going to have 18 stitches left. Then for row 12 you're just going to knit all around and same thing you're going to have 18 stitches left. And then for row 13 we are going to knit two together all around and we're going to be left with nine stitches. So I will meet you back at the end of the 13th row once we have only nine stitches left to show you what we need to do next. Okay everyone, I finished knitting the 10th row and I'm having a hard time continuing with these needles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch to these four millimeter 
longer circular needles. These here are, I believe they're 32 inch. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to remove these. So to do this, I'm just going to remove these stitches all around like this. I'm going to continue with the magic loop technique. That's why I am using these longer needles. You can also use double pointed needles We have all of our stitches. You are going to pull a loop here, like this. Push your needle, and then the stitch marker is going to go here. Pull the needle from the back, because this is where the beginning is. And now for row 11, I have to reduce. So I'm going to knit one, like I said, and then knit two together. Pass your stitch marker, knit one, then knit two together. Pass your stitch marker, knit one, knit two together, knit one, pass your stitch marker, knit one, whoops, don't lose your stitches. knit two together okay drop this needle turn put your stitch marker here push your cable and then knit this side so do the same thing we just did on this side Now these longer needles are the same size, so all I did was just switch to longer needles, but the size remains the same. Now here we're going to pull the needle from the back, knit one, and then knit two together. And this is how I'm going to continue. Whoops. Let's see. Knit two together, pass your stitch marker, knit one, knit two together, Pass your stitch marker, knit one, knit two together. Pass your stitch marker, knit one, knit two together. Pass your stitch marker, knit one, knit two together. Now for me, this is the end of the row. Now push your cable again and for row 11 I have a total of 18 stitches left. There's two stitches in between the stitch markers. So now for row 12 all we're going to do is just knit all around. And this is all I'm going to do. So this part is the same as I showed you with the other needles. So we're going to knit all around for the 12th row. At the end of that 12th row, you're going to have 18 stitches. Then for row 13, we're going to knit two together and we're going to be left with nine stitches at the end of that row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of the 13th row. Okay, I finished row 13 where I knit two together all around. I have nine stitches left. So for row 14, we're just going to knit all around and we can remove these stitch markers so just knit all around you are going to be left with nine stitches for this 14th row drop that needle turn push your cable pull the needle from the back and do the same thing for this side
Here's the end of the row. I have nine stitches left. Turn. Now, here I'm going to, let's see, I have nine stitches. What I'm going to do is I am going to knit two, then knit two together, knit two, knit two together, and then knit one. That way I only have a couple stitches left. You can close your hat here if you want. Continue watching, I'll show you how to remove the remaining stitches. For me, I'm just going to work one more row. So I'm going to knit these two stitches, then knit two together. Turn. Pull the needle from the back, knit two, then knit two together. Now this row here is optional. I just don't like to have too many stitches left, but you can certainly close the hat with the nine stitches. And then knit the last stitch. So now I have two, four, six, seven stitches left. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to cut my yarn here. Make sure you leave a nice tail here. I don't know, eight, ten inches. Make sure it's long enough here. So I'm going to pass my end here through this needle. And we're going to remove our stitches. Now, if you have nine stitches instead of the seven that I have, then this step here is the same. So we're going to remove these stitches one thing don't let go of this loop now this loop here insert the needle like this through the top and down. Now we're going to close the top by pulling. And the top of the hat is going to close. There. Now insert your needle through the top here. And all we're going to do is just go all around and weave this remaining yarn in and out, in and out, all around. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. All you're doing is just hiding your ends. Make sure that you go through these stitches and not through the other side because then it's going to show. Okay, so I'm going to tie a knot here And then hide this and there. Cut your yarn. This is what it looks like on the wrong side. And here is the top of a hat. And that's what it looks like. So here's our little candy corn style hat. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and hide all of my ends here. Make sure that you can't see them. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll come back and show you how it looks on one of my little models. Okay, I finished hiding all my ends and I went ahead and attached the little pom-pom here that I did. I already have a tutorial on how I make my pom-poms, so I'll leave the link down here in the information box. Or you can just search on YouTube how to make pom-poms and lots of videos will pop up showing you how to make pom-poms. So this little hat is all done. Now the size for this little hat is for babies between three and six months old, but because of the brim here, I think that it could also be worn up to eight months. So let me show you how it looks on one of my little models here. Let's see, let's put it on her. 
it's absolutely beautiful look how cute that is that's how it looks now comment below and let me know if you want me to make the mom and daddy version of these hats i'll gladly go ahead and do that for you all but just comment below and let me know okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time